Tornadoes have unleashed massive flooding in parts of Oklahoma. For much of the day, emergency crews have been carrying out dozens of water rescues in areas near Oklahoma City. Families have been trapped in their homes, drivers stuck on the roads. Forecasters say uh, several areas are at high risk for even more severe weather. Uh, the storm that started all of this produced at least 21 tornadoes across four different states. And CNN's Ed Lavendera is live in El Reno, Oklahoma, where forecasters say six inches of rain fell. Ed, I've been watching you all day and all these different rescues. It's been incredibly, incredibly compelling. Tell us about what you've been involved with. Well, hey, Brooke, well, we're, even though we're on the backside of this massive storm system, finally blue skies are out, but this is what we're dealing with now. Uh, this is Six Mile Creek. Should be a tiny little creek, but you've, if you look out here in the distance off this road, you can see just how much the creek has come out of its banks and it is completely overtaking this roadway way out there in the distance. It'll be hard to see, but there's a white pickup truck that is uh, stranded there in the water. And if you take a look here closer, you can see just how much uh, the damage the water has done to the roadway here, buckling up these roadways. And then there are residents like the folks who live in this house where water, they woke up this morning finding water surrounding them. We spoke with one family that had to be rescued this morning. They say they went to bed last night, woke up at five o'clock this morning. They felt like they were on an island surrounded by water. Our house is surrounded. It's in the vents and everything. We went to bed and we got up at like five and from five to six, it just got up around the house. It's not good. It's not good. It's the water's coming up and it's really deep. So it's scary scary, especially when you got grandbabies. And these swift water rescue teams were extremely busy throughout the morning. Uh, we spoke with a, one team from Oklahoma City that was out here in El Reno helping out. We're about 20 miles west of Oklahoma City. They said they had done uh, more than a dozen rescues in the early morning hours. And here in Canadian County, more than 40 uh, swift water rescues. In fact, we spoke with one uh, fire chief just a little while ago that some of these were still going on as these flood waters start to uh, recede. They are popping up in various places. So people are urging these emergency officials are urging people to still be cautious, even though it has stopped raining. Brooke. Yeah, one fire chief I talked to last hour said even their own 33,000 pound truck had a hard time getting through the water. So don't drive through it. Ed Lavendera, thank you so much in El Reno.